Hello and welcome to this Formlabs webinar. This is a shortened version of the original broadcast. If you'd like to view the content in full, please click on the link below. Um, all right, well, uh, everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for taking uh, time out of your busy days to um, meet with us uh, to talk about our newest uh, material that has joined our Formlabs material library, Flame Retardant Resin, and also to be introduced to uh, Tony, who's one of our amazing customers. Uh, next slide, please, Pari. All right, so uh, my name is Elena. Um, I'm joined by Pari. We're both on the product team at Formlabs uh, and helped um, work on this new material. And uh, with that, we worked closely with Tony um, who's from Advanced uh, Design, and uh, he was one of our beta testers for this material. Um, today, we're going to start uh, first by, um, especially for uh, folks who aren't familiar with Formlabs, we'll do a brief introduction um, to uh, the company. Then we'll dive into things, uh, talk about flame retardant resin, including the properties, the applications, and the workflow. Uh, then we'll get into the meat of it, where um, Tony will uh, share uh, a bit about his experience, um, not only creating or using the flame retardant resin, but also um, how he was using or how he was uh, producing um, flame retardant parts for his customers before. And all right, so at Formlabs, uh, we design and manufacture professional 3D printing hardware, software, and materials for pro prototyping as well as production um, with the goal that anyone can make anything. We released our first professional sterilithography or SLA printer back in 2012, so over a decade ago, um, and have continued to expand the line with better, larger, or more productive solutions such as Form Auto, which uh, we released earlier this year. Um, we also have a selective laser sintering or SLS 3D printer um, that we released uh, in 2021. Um, in 10 years, or in just over 10 years, we've sold over 100,000 printers and our customers have printed over 100 million parts, um, which is just an unfathomable, unfathomable amount of parts. Next slide, please. Um, here is an overview of our SLA materials library. We have options from general prototyping to a, a wide range of engineering resins to dental uh, biocompatible resins to specialty jewelry resins too. I think that the breadth of our material library is amazing um, and uh, is one of the main reasons why our customers um, choose us. Uh, for a variety of different applications, mm -hmm. uh, we've developed uh, we've developed materials with excellent performance, um, and now we are adding flame retardant resin to this library. Um, Pari, please take it away and tell our audience all about this great new material. Excellent, thank you, Elena. Uh, so, hi everyone. Like Elena mentioned, my name is Pari, and I'm a materials product manager at Form Labs. Uh, it's my Pleasure, and I'm like really happy to introduce uh, this flame retardant resin uh, to you today. So we'll be talking about properties, applications, and workflow. We will dig into it a little bit more to understand what this resin's about and how it's going to unlock new applications. Uh, let's start off with properties. And so, like I mentioned, we are very excited to launch our first UL94 certified flame retardant resin. Um, so the key attributes of this resin are: this is self-extinguishing. Um, it makes uh, heat resistant parts as well as functionally tough parts that unlock a lot of applications in different industries. So these are um, parts that you can use in rigorous industrial environments or for uh, applications where flame retardancy is the key. And it unlocks applications in aerospace, uh, automobiles for interior cabin parts, um, custom jigs and fixtures within uh, industrial manufacturing environments which have high temperature requirements or are close to ignition sources. Uh, we'll cover more about applications in the coming slides as well. So if you take a step back, what is a flame retardant material? So a flame retardant material or a self-extinguishing material will burn under a flame source. Uh, but the minute you remove your flame source, that's when the parts uh, stop burning, essentially. So here you can see the GIFs in which where you have parts that are under the ignition source, under a flame source. And then the second you remove this, uh, the flames go away. Uh, now, how fast the flames go away dictates how good a flame retardant material it is. 
And that nicely lends itself into the different levels of certifications that you can have for flame retardant parts. So for example, uh, I had mentioned the UL94 certification before. So this is our first UL94 V0 certified resin. And what that means is um, the this um, certification agency, UL, under Underwriters Laboratory, has certified this resin, uh, parts made from this resin to hit the, uh, to be able to achieve the V0 standard. And UL94, like I'd mentioned, is a flammability testing for plastic materials. And blue cart is associated with uh, parts that are additively manufactured. So any 3D printed plastic parts uh, that are flame retardant are usually referred to as UL94 blue card parts. Uh, V0 is the level of uh, flammability that the parts can achieve. And V0 is indeed one of the highest flammability standards that parts can achieve. And we hit this at a thickness of three millimeters. So why is this important to you? Uh, with third-party certification, uh, there is this external agency, UL, which ensures that we meet all the uh, requirements to uh, make sure that the parts made from this resin are always going to be hitting that flammability standard. So they keep checking in with us in terms of hitting the minimum compliance. Uh, and that way, uh, what you can be rest assured knowing is that as a user, when you're using uh, parts made from this resin, you don't have to test the parts for yourself. You don't have to repeatedly burn them for different applications, different kinds of parts, as long as you follow um, the printing guidelines that we specify in terms of uh, pre-using these parts with the flame retardant resin. So that's where it takes away the time, the effort, as well as the cost associated with additional testing, uh, because now the parts are uh, the parts made from this resin are UL94 certified. So for more information on the certification, the different flammability tests that we publish, uh, I would encourage you to check out our technical data sheet. So that's linked on our websites as well, uh, where you can see all the different tests that we've uh, performed on uh, parts made from this flame return resin. Um, I also wanted to call out a few specific properties here. So um, we have two post-curing conditions for this resin. Uh, we'll get into this during the workflow, but uh, very importantly, this resin is a high um, heat resistance. As you can see, the heat deflection temperature uh, can be around 110, 111 degrees Celsius. So that means these are heat resistant parts and also they're quite functionally tough. So if you look at the impact strength, the elongation at break, uh, you'll see that this is a nice sort of like bridge in between like the high temperature resins like high temp and rigid 10K and the functionally tough resins such as tough 2000. So we blended the properties quite well so that we could get functionally tough as well as heat resistant parts that are flame retardant. So uh, this is the version of material that, uh, that unlocks a lot of applications. Um, I also wanna talk a little bit more about the compatibility. So um, as far as the price is concerned, uh, we, we are launching this resin at $249 per kilogram. So, and it is also compatible on the Form 3 series of printers. So this is the Form 3, 3 plus, 3L, uh, that's the large format SLA printers, as well as the 3B, 3B plus, and 3BL, which are the medical versions of the uh, Formlabs printers. Um, and then uh, we'll get into the workflow in a little bit, but before we do that, we'll talk a little bit more about the applications itself. Uh, one of the key industries where flame retardancy is of a big need is the maintenance, repair, and overhaul industries, the MRO. Uh, so if you look at airplanes, automobiles, railway, uh, anything transportation related, usually you need spare replacement parts, uh, aftermarket support parts, or uh, even ducting for engine thermal management where you have hot air flows and uh, high temperature resistance that are the of minimum requirements. So in these cases, for parts to be um, able to be used in these applications, they need to meet the minimum flame retardancy standards. And that's where uh, parts made from this resin are going to have those standards. Uh, and the additional benefit being parts are also going to look like the original injection molded part. So something which is SLA 3D printed has a very good surface finish, uh, fine features. So it looks, it mimics the injection molded part itself. And these are creep resistant parts as well. So with the high stiffness and high heat, uh, heat deflection temperature, uh, we get really stiff creep resistant parts that hold their true shape over long periods of time, which is of a big need when you're in the transportation industry. And like I mentioned, for the thermal management or high airflow uh, ducting applications, it needs to resist high temperatures without posing a fire hazard. Uh, it can also be used to make interior parts within uh, the cabins of uh, cabins, cockpits uh, of like the airplanes, uh, railways, and automotive. Uh, 
uh, applications again. So uh, parts such as panels, brackets, uh, spacers, um, enclosures, airflow vents, USB duct covers. Uh, these are all areas where you would again need a flame retardant part. Uh, they'll have their own flame retardancy certifications that are required, uh, which we published on the technical data sheet as well. And they'll also need to be FST certified. So uh, if you go to our web page, you'll also see that these uh, parts do meet, uh, meet smoke and toxicity ratings as well which enable it for use in these interior um, cabin or cockpit applications. And they have a great surface finish as well as small feature resolution, which enable it to be used in these uh, industries. And for electronics uh, applications, so if you're looking at uh, power electronics applications, consumer products, uh, manufacturing industrial tools, you usually have circuit boards or ignition sources uh, that can be uh, um, short circuit, where short circuiting can occur and it can be a reason for fire. So in these cases, you definitely want enclosures or connectors which are made from flame retardant resins uh, or flame retardant materials, in fact. So battery covers, electronic enclosures, connector housings, um, high power electrical applications. These are all great parts uh, of which you can print from the flame retardant resin, knowing that they will be able to self-extinguish if there is a ignition source. So these are also creep resistant, dimensionally accurate, which is important, especially if you have assemblies that you're trying to line up against each other, as is the um, connector part here. That's the two part connector assembly that goes in to each other. And then uh, you will have them. And these are stiff protective parts as well that are functionally tough, uh, that can hold up to the rigors of the uh, environment in which, being they, in which they're being used. Uh, tooling and manufacturing aids. So. Um, on the shop floor, on the industrial environments, if you have jigs and fixtures that are in close proximity to, let's say, welding sources or high temperature ignition sources, in those cases, you'd want these jigs and fixtures to be stiff and also flame retardant so that they don't catch fire. And that's where flame retardancy, the ability to withstand high temperatures with a high heat deflection temperature, uh, being stiff and creep resistant are going to be important attributes for creating these sort of jigs and fixtures. Um, and, in this rigorous industrial environment with close proximity to ignition or welding sources. Uh, Thank you for tuning in to this webinar preview from Formlabs. To view the content in full, please click on the link below. Alternatively, if you'd like to get more information on our products and services, then please visit our website.